Hey everyone, welcome back to Avenue with Genghis. So about two events ago, I made a video on upgrading or ascending your main subsidy and how you could use alternate fragments to upgrade that Russian or Japanese subsidy. Don't waste the Russian or Japanese frags to upgrade it. You can use those as their own subsidy. If you're a smaller spender or if you're a bigger spender, use them to upgrade your actual uh interchangeable subs that you could change with other subs and ra rather than wasting it on your main internal one because the internal one you can use usa european arabic keys and let's look at it so this is what it looks like before i already converted it so this is an old picture when you get the subsidy key you have a chance to use it and open it and start the 10 minute countdown or you can use the keys so the reason i'm actually doing this i'm doing it live is because there was someone who did say in the comments like this better not be wrong or there's going to be a lot of upset people at you for making you waste those converted keys so i have 10 american fragments so what i'm going to do here i'm going to change my culture to america and then we're going to use those fragments and let's see if they work. And then, of course, I'm going to change back to Japan to be able to do it. So let's go into our uh, subsidy here. We have America and you can see I have 10 fragments now. Right here, 10 fragments, Rot total bad color choice by me there. Let's see, did that fix it? No, nope. so right there, we have 10 fragments. So let's upgrade it. Yep, confirmed. Now, what I'm gonna wanna do is I wanna convert, I wanna change my culture. Let's go back over to Japan. And Japan was at zero before, so I've never upgraded my internal sub and let's see what's going on there and look it actually upgraded it that is awesome and that's all there is to it so win a sub uh it's obviously going to be easier to bet on the fragments that are not japan or russia try and win the other ones and then upgrade like this now you will eventually run into a wall that you're going to have to spend money because you need these hammers but it might be worth it to spend a little bit more you're going to get a little bit more value in the game so your internal sub, you should do this the entire way with non-Japanese and Russian keys and fragments because you're never, it's going to be hard to get them. They're expensive. But when you do get the Russian or Japanese ones, use them on the actual cities. So I, I'll just say this little bonus advice here. I do believe the Russian city has the best value to upgrade because the first one, look, you get eight extra percent internal attack for all troops. So that's eight times four, an extra 32% in city attack with one upgrade. And then if you look at the Japanese one, so that, ooh, that scared me for a second. That was not the one I just upgraded. And then the first upgrade, all I get is ground troop healing speed. You gotta go a little bit further. So ground troop defense there, and then all the way to the end, but definitely worth uh, using this trick. So. Like, subscribe, leave a comment.